Imagine a blueprint, a step-by-step -step guide, a challenge where I peel back the curtains and show you exactly what it takes to sell print-on-demand on Etsy. Welcome to the Print-on-Demand Million Dollar Challenge. Welcome to episode six. We're now at the point in the process where we're gonna start launching listings. We've done a lot of work to get to this point in the process. We've created our accounts, we've done our product research, we've done our market research, we've created our template designs, we've connected our personalized designs to Hello Custom, and now we need to have a launch strategy to make all that work worth it and give our listings a fighting chance right out of the gate. So in this episode, I'm gonna go over my three-step launch strategy for Etsy. So I was curious, do you use Etsy ads in your personal business? And if so, what has been your experience? 100%. 100%, I do. I 100% use Etsy ads. My experience has been that when you have something that's selling really well on Etsy, if you put ads on it, then it's like putting gasoline on a fire that's already burning. It just helps it to grow even faster. I see ads not as a way to make money. I see them as a way to gain exposure and sort of pay for traffic to see if a new product works. It's a really good way to push your products out there faster so that people can actually see them, they can view them, they can click them, and you can get that feedback as fast as possible about, oh, is this design even a good design? Is this a market that will even work? Is this something that I should even be pursuing? You have a bunch of competitors that have just as many listings and competitive listings as you, right? Who is Etsy going to favor when it comes time to saying, all right, who am I gonna show? Are they gonna favor the list that is historically not spending money on Etsy paid traffic, or are they gonna favor your competition that has an equally good as listing that is willing to spend on Etsy paid traffic? We know we have a hot product and this just helps it give it a little bit of an extra push. A lot of Etsy sellers are afraid to use ads and uh, they're, they're afraid of wasting money or spending money, but they don't realize that it's such a pivotal piece to your business and it's going to amplify everything you're doing right out of the gate. If I was to do all the same work with my products that I pour into them and I was to get them all up, but I never turned Etsy ads on, the amount of sales I would have driven overall would be much lower because I'd be re relying purely on organic. It's just really that sprint that's going to help your store fast pace its growth and ability to scale on the platform. Uh, the more engagement you get, your store gets, I believe the more eyeballs you'll get in the over, over time. You're gonna get immediate feedback on your product, if it sucks, if it's good, if it's not, if you're gonna make money or not. Um, so 100% answer, yes, you should. <clears throat> right, let me just do a two actually quick. Alrighty. Three, two, <clears throat> one, and... Before I get started, I just wanna say that everything that I've taught thus far in these episodes are the exact strategies that I use in my personal Etsy print shop that has generated me over $2.5 million revenue across hundreds of thousands of sales. I've essentially taken everything that I've learned in the last couple years, removed all of the fluff and taken just the actionable battle-tested strategies that I've personally proven and no works today in giving that to you. So if you're starting to see the value in these episodes and the power in these strategies, please give this video a thumbs up. And it would mean more to me than you know if you just took one second to click that subscribe button to get notified when we will release more videos just like this. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. When launching a new product on Etsy, I use my three-step launch strategy. Step number one is I turn on Etsy ads for the listing. Step number two is I reduce my price to my break-even price after fees. And step number three is I wait until the product is ranked to page one, but no longer than three weeks. When launching a new listing on Etsy, you're not automatically ranked on the page one. You'll probably fall somewhere below page 15. I like to use a rule of thumb that about 80% of sales for a given search term are acquired on page one, and the other 20% of sales are acquired through page two plus. So knowing that all of the sales are being acquired on page one, but you're on page 15, how do we go from page 15 to page one? What does Etsy look at when determining rank? The number one variable that Etsy looks at when determining rank is sales velocity, because a sale is the derivative of everything else being done correct. If you're relevant for the search term, you have a good product, a good conversion rate, customer service, quality score, that typically results in a sale. So you can assume that the more sales you have for a given search term, the higher you will rank for that search term. So the question then becomes, if I'm ranked on page 15 where there are no sales, 
and I need sales to get to page one where there are sales, how do I get those sales to get ranked to page one? It's the classic chicken and egg scenario. I know that a lot of people teach that you don't need Etsy ads to make money on Etsy, but I actually completely disagree. Because your organic listing is ranked on page 15 and the most direct way to drive rank is sales, the easiest way that I found to be able to rank a listing is by turning on Etsy ads. So your organic listing will still be on page 15, but now you're paying Etsy PPC to promote your listing on page one. And as that listing starts to get sales, sales velocity, it's gonna help drive rank for your organic listing. And as you see, as you start to get sales velocity, you'll go from page 15 to page 10 to page five and eventually to page one. And progressively, as you climb the ranks, this listing will start to get more visibility and sales proportionally. Once your listing is fully ranked, what you'll typically see is you'll get about 20% of your sales from your ads and about 80% of your sales from your organic listing. So four times more sales from your organic listing. And that's why I love Etsy ads is because you'll get more sales once your listing is ranked on the page one. Once you start viewing Etsy ads as a tool and not an expense, you can really see how powerful they really are. I like to think of Etsy ads as like an ATM where you put a dollar in and get $2 out because Etsy ads are PPC pay per click. You're only paying Etsy if someone clicks onto your listing. And if you've done everything correct, essentially what we spent this last week doing, that should result in a sale a sale that gets you one step closer to ranking on the page one. In regards to the daily budget, I personally use the max allowance. When you open up a new Etsy account, the max allowance will be about $25 per day. Once you hit that threshold, Etsy will increase your limit. I will be using the max allowance for this challenge. So to turn on Etsy ads, what you'll do is come over to the left navigation bar here, click on marketing, go to Etsy ads, and if this is your first time doing Etsy ads, you'll go ahead and click on this Get Started button here. How would Etsy ads best serve you? I think this is just for Etsy side. I don't think it's gonna affect your ads, but take my sales up a notch. I'm gonna click on this one here and click on Submit. I'm gonna set my daily budget to the max allowance, $25. And once we hit this $25 a day budget, it should go to 50, then maybe 100 after that and start advertising. So that was step number one and the reasoning behind it. Step number two is we drop the price for the product to our break-even price after fees. What you'll typically see is the cheaper something is, the more it will sell. And the more expensive something is, the least it will sell. This is true for anything. So knowing that sales velocity is the number one variable to drive rank, and the cheaper something is, the more it will sell, what if we drop our price down a little bit so it sells more, expediting the ranking process. So I've tested this with hundreds of product launches across four to five different product categories. And what I typically find is when I drop my price to my break even price, my conversion rate will three to four X. And what this means is I'm converting three to four times more clicks into paying customers. So that means I'm paying three to four times less on my Etsy ads. I'm driving rank three to four times faster. And the third benefit is what I like to call the halo period. When you first launch a new listing on Etsy, Etsy doesn't know anything about your product. It doesn't know where to put it and where to rank it. It doesn't have any averages for your sales. So what Etsy does is it gives you a little bit of boost at the very beginning to feed the algorithm. So if you're able to spike your conversion rate and increase your sales velocity during the time Etsy's looking for that, you're feeding the algorithm what it's looking for, helping you drive rank even faster. So to give you a quick example using apparel, it's gonna cost us $9.33 to buy this product from Printify. So to get my break-even price after fees, I'm gonna take this $9.33 and I'm gonna add 6.5% for Etsy's transaction fee. So I'm gonna times that by 1.065. You can also add 20 cents for the listing renewal fee if you want, but I'd probably launch this for $9.99. In regards to the shipping price, I always do, if the product weighs less than a pound, essentially first class shipping, I charge $6.99, even though it only costs us $4.75 to get this fulfilled by Printify. I've done a lot of A-B testing on the shipping between free shipping, you know, $2.99, $4.99, $5.99, all up to $6.99 and I found that our conversion rate is not affected all the way up to $6.99. So we're able to make about a $2 profit on the shipping to help offset the cost of the advertising. So the third step is to wait, be patient. Although we're doing everything in our power to expedite the ranking process, it still does not happen overnight. What I found is it still takes Etsy about a week to index your listing and start promoting your ads. 
and an additional one to two weeks to rank to page one. Once your listing is ranked to page one, you can now raise your front end price back to your normal price so you can yield a profit. If ranking is taking longer than normal, I still raise the price back up to my normal price at the three week mark so we can make some profit on the sales that it is generating and I let the rest of the ranking happen on its own time. One thing that I wanted to point out, something that you're probably already thinking, is we're not yielding a profit during the launch strategy. The goal of the launch strategy is to drive rank, not necessarily to yield a profit. I'm okay with not making a profit for the first two to three weeks to drive rank to page one, raise my price point, capture that 80% of the sales volume, and make significantly more money post-launch than the organic route of not using Etsy ads. Well, that is it for episode six. We went over my exact three-step launch strategy that I use in my personal business, as well as plan on using in this challenge. If you're following along with the challenge, please let me know in the comments below, because I really want to see what action steps you guys are taking. And if you got value out of this episode, please give it a thumbs up, and maybe share it with a friend who might get value out of it as well. Moving forward, we'll be transitioning to monthly result videos, so stay tuned for this month's results.